Welcome back. Spicy Mexican food for breakfast. Yes, please. Ballard Sasan Kitchen is serving up traditional Mexican breakfast foods for breakfast, brunch, and lunch. So New Day was immediately in on that. Chef Victoria Martin, also known as Chef Fico, is here. Welcome. You Hi, looked Seattle. excited. And your, your partner, who has a Seahawks cap, was also like very excited. So I love your enthusiasm for all Thank of this. Thank you, Margaret. It's great. So there's something especially satisfying about a spicy breakfast. What is it that kind of makes us happy to get a little spice and a little sweet? Yes, it's, it's uh, because we are from uh, Baja, Ensenada, Baja, California. So our cuisine is very different, like the center of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So it's fresh, it's a... Uh, um, Mediterranean, the flavors, aromas is very, very different. Yes. yes. The aromas, when we came in the room, <laughs> all of us were like, when do we get to eat? Okay, so what are we making today? Yes, we make, uh, we cook, uh, we will cook uh, machaca de res. It's a uh, beef stew. Yes, beef too. And you know, we have a couple of cocktails yes. out. Can, is there any chance we could start there? Yes, why all not? Right. <laughs> we have a mimosa what are these? Yeah. and michelada. Michelada is a uh, Tomato juice with lemon and uh, salsa inglesa. Oh, really? Yes. So it's and a little so like a Bloody Mary, but with, be with beer. With yes. beer. Oh my gosh! Can I have a <laughs> yes, taste? Yes, why not? It Please. looks so good. <laughs> it, you can start your stew if you want to. I want to hold you up. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, the spice is <laughs> delicious. All right. So how do we do the stew? What's first? Okay. Uh, today, uh, this is the 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 dish that is the most famous, popular. Uh, this Look is a machaca de res. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a big plate. So uh, we have. This ought uh, to do you for breakfast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's a Mexican like breakfast. I like yes. breakfast. Be beans with chilaquiles and potatoes and machaca de res and eggs. Tell us about the chile. Chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. Yes. It's a, like a sampler, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so well, we with prepare. chips and all kinds of stuff on yes. that. Yes. You can okay. show us a red sauce or green sauce. Green sauce yeah. for me, thank you, and the eggs look great. Okay, stew so, it is. Okay, we make uh, out here just a little bit. Oh, How yes. much do you want it to go up? I, uh, I think yes. About there. All okay. Right. So yes. <laughs> You're <laughs> scaring me. I'm yes. Crazy. It's super hot. She's touching so, the pan. Mm, we add a little bit salt. Now, why do you add the salt first? Is because the Flavor, flavors and aromas oh, is very different. Uh, first food. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then they're the, released by yes, the heat the, in the pan. The, yeah, the aromas. Cool tip. Yes. So a little bit more. A little bit more. Yes. And then. Here comes the oil. Oil. And this is a beef stew that's going to have eggs with it, obviously, as we've seen. Yes. Um, is it a pretty standard breakfast in the region of Mexico that you talked about? Uh, yes, uh, and the country exists uh, a lot of different kinds. We make machaca, so the northwest of the country, mm -hmm. this is the kind we this prepare. This is the way. Okay. Yes, this is the way. Yes, right. Then comes the onions. So, yes, onions. Uh, it's uh, yellow onions and red onions. Oh, it smells so good. As soon yes. as the onions or the garlic or any of that starts cooking, it just smells so great in yes. here. And then... Garlic. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> love the garlic. So yes, I do. I really too. do. Yes, the smell. It so smells good. great. And it's always the start of something good, so you know that that's, that's yes. a good shape. So now the pepper. pepper. Now the pepper after the oil is in the pan. Yes. Interesting. The smell. Yeah. It's very oh my different. Gosh. I hope I smell like that all day. Yes. It's delicious. Do you want me to stir while you get ah, yes. the rest of things Thank you, Marie. Okay. <laughs> I will help you here. Yes. Now you guys started um, as a food truck, right? Yes. I mean, you're a restaurant we now. We started food truck first, uh, the taco truck, and then we we put a restaurant, yeah, breakfast and brunch. Because you were yes, that very, popular. Yes, Marie. And very soon we have a service dinner. Very soon in Ferrari. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. <laughs> so you don't have to stop at lunch, people. You can go on for there. It is. It looks beautiful. And you're in Ballard, correct? Yes. All right. Yes, in Ballard, uh, 1573 is our location. We will find you. I think people, after seeing the pictures of breakfast, will be able to <laughs> hunt you down for that breakfast because it looks so good. 
Now, yes, while this is cooking for a bit, tell me about some of the other dishes that you brought because these are beautiful. You have French toast and lots of bacon. So <laughs> let's start here. Yes, in our menu in Sazon, uh, we, we have the menus between uh, lights, breakfast, mm -hmm. uh, balance, like a, a Mediterranean toast, avocado toast, uh, um, Salmon toast. You're not kidding with this toast. I mean, this is <laughs> yes, really. We, ha uh, we have hummus in yes. this, and tomatoes, and lettuce, and then all hemp. Some, uh, hemp seeds. Oh my God. Hemp yeah, seeds hemp seeds and, and oil hemp. Also pickled onions. Is that yes. what that is? Yeah. <laughs> it looks delicious. And the cherry yes, the tomatoes. Yeah, the flavor is very different. <laughs> what kind of meat have you used? How did you slow cook this and then shred it? Yes, between um, the cherry beef. Uh, the tri tip between cook are uh, five or seven hours. Mm -hmm. So it's a slow cook, a slow cook. So it's soft. And yes, very soft. Pull it together. Okay, the tomatoes, yes, tomatoes. Go in. Now, when you start doing, I don't want to slow you down because we only have about a minute and a half, but when you start doing dinner, will you still have some breakfast items for dinner or will you change your menu altogether? Uh, change the okay. menu. Yes, yes, yes. Because I like breakfast for dinner sometimes. <laughs> But do you want me, me, micheladas on dinner? Why not? Yes, why not? No <laughs> problem there. Okay, what happens yes. next? And uh, this, this ingredient is, uh, the name is oregano. It's very important in Mexican cuisine. Mm -hmm. The smell? It smells like oregano. There so it is. So we put so fresh. This first, the I'm smell is another. different. Oh, so that's another trick then. Yes. Just smush it a little and let that release. Yes. Like a basil or like a mint. Oh my goodness. <laughs> smells so good. Should I keep stirring or leave it alone? And, and then we put, uh, this is the bro broth. Broth? Yeah, broth. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is uh, the very flavors and aromas. Is a cook on uh, the fried tip beef. So you've got that going. And then do you just let it just do its thing? Yeah, to reduce the. That's all we have to yes. do. That's all we have to do. Yes. That looks so delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope everybody comes out and has brunch with you. And yes. then dinner, when that's available, let us know. And we'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>